Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to Scanner Somber. When we last left off, we had just got through like the Temple of the Black Goat back there and now we're in the uh, Lake of the Sunless Sea or something. We'll call it the Sunless Lake. And now we have to wander through the water and you know, that's totally... Oh god. Oh god. I don't like this! Ugh. I can't, I can't scan while I'm in the water. Which I guess makes a certain amount of sense. I feel like I'm hearing something behind me. Hello. Hello. Yeah, let's not, let's try not to get wet. We'll, we'll void, we'll end up voiding the warranty if we do that. And seriously, who wants to void their warranty? Uh, there we go. Just hop, skip, and a jump. And then, yeah, probably want to be careful how we drop down there. Like a so. Alright, a little bit of scanamajigging over here. Uh, this looks like it all ends in the water. Uh, there is a cage in the water. Yes, I think that's a cage. That looks like a cage. I have a bad feeling about this place. They said something about monks. Did you throw the monks in cages? That doesn't sound very nice. Why would you put a monk in a cage? Monks don't belong in cages. Monks deserve to run free. It's it's just good for their health that way. I mean, monks are an endangered species these days. You can't just be throwing them in cages in underground lakes. It's just its just not done. It's not proper. Like, have some respect for the poor monks. Yeah. That's all I, What's this? The witch trials came much later. Oh, witches. Well, screw witches. Stupid witches. Okay, that's also water. Uh, they used to drag witches down here and purge them in huge numbers. Evil throughout the ages. You're telling me. I have to go through the water again. I don't really want to go in the water. The last time it was spooky. There's no doubt they believed in the myths. It was no accident they chose this cave. Go on. Well, what's this about uh, not choosing the cave by accident? Uh, they wanted to imprison the evil down here as eternal punishment. Oh, wonderful. That's, uh... That's a religion for you. Oh, I don't like that. Hello? That was something in the water, wasn't there? Oh, I don't like that. That, uh... That does not... It does not taste pleasant, or sound pleasant, or even smell pleasant, and I want nothing to do with it. Hello. What's up here? You are a rock. I am scanning you. Alright. Let's try to stay out of the water. It sounds like there's something in the water. And it's not like that movie, Something in the Water, where I think the something in the water was like a friendly sea monster or something. That was a movie, wasn't it? I feel like I saw that movie as a kid. I figure it's called Something in the Water. I did wonder if it was true, of course. No way these were just glitches. If there was some kind of sea monster thingy down there, and uh, it was friendly, I think. That much death occurring in such a confined space, what horrors must they have seen in their final moments? You know, that's a good question. That is a very good question to ask over over a nice hot chocolate on the surface, where we're nowhere near this scary, spooky hellhole. Hey, some of that's not going away. Let's do a quick scan. Okay, dokely. Have we learned? What have we learned that's new? Well, there's a path that goes over there. There is uh, a path down here as well that goes into the water. Probably don't want to go into the water. I, I get the distinct impression that there are things down here that are better left undisturbed. Like the cave itself. After all, the cultists apparently thought that the cave was alive and ate people. Or something. And, uh, you know, that can't, that can't be good for our health. Uh, alright, we'll go down. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh dear. Well, um, 
Okay. Help. Oh, we're not in the water anymore. That's... That's pleasant. Um... I am still feeling lost. Let's go this way instead of that way this time. I, I think, uh, this will be... Probably the preferred thing. I and mean, we did confirm there's something in the water. Which... Maybe that'll be the, ep the episode title, unless something... You know, less, uh, spooky, scary hat. That is a very narrow bridge over there. Am I supposed to jump to that? I hope not. Let's look at the map. Um, well... There's something over there. There is a bridge there. Purging cages. Cages. Witch trials. Year 1680, approximately. Okay. Lake entrance over there. Let's actually go back and just take a quick look at what it is we're seeing here. We have the cultist monastery down there. We have our map view. We have our prisons. Uh, was that 10,000 AD? Cultist temple? Okay, that's, uh... That's certainly something. And uh, then we have all the way down here and down here. Oh dear. And that's uh, where we started. Well, what is this? Can't quite zoom in on what's down there. A chasm. Very deep, apparently. All right, let's uh. All right, what the hell? We'll. You know what? No, no, we're not gonna. That's that's actually like a pointy thing, isn't it? Let, let's let's go this way. And we don't want anything to do with whatever the hell is in the water there. It's something. There's something living. Something vaguely humanoid. Something that uh, we probably want absolutely nothing to do with. Hello. Um. Um. Wait. 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 This kind of goes down. Okay. There is solid land down here. Geronimo! Okay. Alrighty then, well. That was a, a lovely adventure that I hope we never, never have to experience again. Because, uh, you know, there is uh, hellish, hellish abominations down here in the depths of hell where we are presently, presently visiting. That uh, solid down there? It is. Okay, and Geronimo! How did we even get to where we uh, started the game off with, is my question. <laughs> Getting kind of, uh... Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, my, my. I have no idea what kind of voice I was going for there. Oh dear. Oh dear. There's something down there below us, isn't there? Oh dear. Oh boy. This is a narrow path, indeed. There is something waiting just below in the Caphonian depths. Caphonian, of course, originating from the Greek word Caphonios, which I think I got that not quite right. Which means darkness or underworld. Or something to that effect. And, um... Yeah. Thus, it is quite obvious that, uh, this is not a place we want to be. I mean, the music... Is there someone moaning back there? Listen, I'm trying to narrate a video here. Whoever you are, you're getting very much in the way. Uh, okay, this is kind of a dead end. I could jump in the water as a shortcut, but I think we've established that getting in the water is probably not in our best interests. So let us take our time instead and. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, there is something up over here. Possibly just rock. Let's do a little burst scan. I actually keep holding the button down, but uh, once you uh, once you start the scan, you actually don't need to do anything anymore. Oh, there's something over here. An upgrade of some kind, it would seem. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> Let's not fall down there, shall we? Okay, good. It's all solid. 
and we don't float. Scanner resolution has been increased. Ooh, so it's even more powerful than ever before. So we can see even more horrible things which mankind was not meant to know. I mean, that's, uh, that's good. Are we going backwards or forwards? We're making, we're going some kind of forwards. How did people even dangle these things up here is my question. The answer is I don't know, and that kind of looks like a, that kind of took on the shape of a troll for me for a second, but uh, then it was not a troll, but uh, just a bunch of rock. And I, for one, oh dear, man, it must have sucked to be a witch back in the old days. There's something down there. I do not like it. I wish it would stop, whatever it is. Because it is, uh, frankly bumming me out. Oh, fall, it's, oh god. Jumps. Jumpity jumps. Oh god. What is this, some kind of parkour simulator? In the depths of hell, oh god. I almost panicked, jumped off to the side there. Which probably would have ended, oh, hello. Lots of cages over here. And then more water. Man. Human cruelty. I mean, kind of fitting. I mean, uh... Ooh, what if we jump onto this rock? Now, I bet there is a secret if we, uh, wander out, like, doing some island jumping here. But, uh, do I really want to, uh... <laughs> see it. Let's take a quick look at the map. What does the map have to tell us? There's really... And there is an island. I don't think there's really much more over there, so I'm just gonna kinda... Like, ooh. Don't want it to be that wide. There we go. Yep. I suppose we could tease the monster by constantly uh, dipping our toesies in and out of the water, but... Yeah, I don't think that monster's happy that we escaped without it getting a chance to nibble on us. But then again, there's got to be food down here, or else, uh, how would it still be alive? The answer, my friends, is it would not be alive. So there is nothing for us to worry about. Just tee hee hee and a ta ha ha and a hoo 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 and this is big, so let's do a big ol' scan. Oh, it's all solid for a second there. Thought there might have been some liquid down there, some flu- ooh, hello. Boat! Oh, this is- eh. I- I can't move in the boat. Ah, but I can control the boat. I see. I was thinking for a second when I jumped in it might become like an on-rails segment, because as you can see it kind of- the world just kind of ends over there. Let's uh, widen our- our scattershot a little. As we, uh, just, uh, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Now, if I had some backup singers here, we could get that going in, uh, oh, what's the term for it? I can't remember. You know, there's a term, you know, the whole where you're like, row, row, row your boat, and then as you go on to the next line, then someone starts the first line, and... As you can tell, I'm not very musically inclined. Ooh, what's this? It's... It's beautiful. A moment of peaceful... Contemplative reflection before the screaming starts again. A moment of light and wonderment. Just, uh, just take a moment to appreciate it. I'll just be quiet for a second. All right, peaceful contemplation time is over. And back to me talking. Well, we've been through a lot today, you and I, Mr. Scanner. We have been through a lot. And now we're just riding our boat down what looks like the esophagus or intestines of a giant beast of some sort. It, uh... We have, uh, we've survived the cultists of the black goat. We have survived the, uh, spooky 
underwater lake with the unknown horror that has been Ghibli Goblin down there. Ghibli Goblin's a word. Don't, don't think it's not. I made it up. I made it up, but it's a real word, dang it. I mean, uh, if Dr. Seuss could make up words, if Lewis Carroll and all the other great writers throughout history, like, um, Shakespeare, that's one. That's a guy who made up words that are now in our common vernacular. Uh, then so can I. I can make up words, and they will have meaning, and people, you know, centuries from now will spell them wrong, and I will roll in my grave, and so on and so forth. This is beautiful. I don't exactly understand what is the source of this bioluminescence we're looking at, but it's it's quite beautiful, quite striking, really. It, it really, like when you look at this stuff, it kind of makes you think, like, all this exists. Like in real life, stuff not unlike this exists, and it, it, it's there in worlds just beyond our eyes, beneath our feet, and overhead, and and uh, beneath, in the depths of the sea and whatnot, there's all these worlds just on our own planet that we never see and we don't appreciate, perhaps, but they exist, and not only do they exist, but, you know, they have their own history and their own stories, and many of us will never truly know or understand them, because they're not really, like, we'll never experience these worlds. Which is kind of sad in a way. And yet, they're there. Timeless. Fleeting. And yet, when, uh, they'll always be there. I don't know. It really kind of brings home the, uh, the sense of wonder and adventure that characterizes the human spirit. Like, why, why do we do stuff like this? Why do we go into dark, spooky caves and dive to the depths of the ocean and climb high mountains that, you know, no one, like, like not even wildlife, uh, tends to live on. Like, why, why do we do these things? Because we can. Because we want to know what's out there. It doesn't matter, you know, if we could never live in these worlds and if we're just visitors intruding for a time. They are still worlds that we want to be a part of, we want to know of, that sense of adventure and wonderment that really characterizes what it means to be human, when you think about it. And I, for one, it's these little things that really make you appreciate humanity all the more, doesn't it? Like, look at this, look at this. It's just this beautiful cavern right here. And no one, apparently no one has ever been here before. We are the first, and you never know when someone will ever be here again. Like, I mean, yeah, this is just a game and all, but you know, the, the principle applies in real life. And it kind of, in a way, like just experiencing these things, it makes you think to yourself, well, what could I do in my life to really embrace that spirit of adventure and exploration, and, and that, that truly unique human attribute that separates us from oh dear ghosts oh my hello you appear to be a miner of some sort hello this became a mine did it anyway but that really like defines us as a people as a species oh it just keeps on going up there doesn't it Ooh, there's something man-made up there in the dark anyway but yeah that's why I like games like this, because I don't think I'm physically fit enough to handle some of the, uh, material scanner. Ooh. Like, at the end of the day, it's still all doing the same, same thing, right? So many have died down here. I think I'm gonna stay in, uh, this mode from now on. Because it still scans, right? The miners that came for work, they were just as superstitious. They were terrified of this place. I can understand that. I mean, it's kind of a spooktacular place to be, isn't it? 
All those that lost their lives to negligence, are they trapped down here too? Probably. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, dear God. Well, sucks. Sucks to be them, I guess. I mean, that's... Oh, dear. Now, I can't help but notice, though, that uh, there's no bones. Okay, I, I get it. You're dead. Stop bothering me, ghosties. Little uh, miney carts, presumably made out of iron. This is wood, which again, I ask myself, I mean, this can't even be a century old. And yet, how, how is there wood here? Really, it makes you think, don't it? it? Makes you think indeed. It's the impossible cave. Everything that is put down here stays here forever. You too can stay forever if you like. Forever. And ever. Which is an awfully long time when you when you think about it. How long is forever, really? These time ooh, it's a green rock. These timeless, ageless depths. Of forgotten lore. And history. And wonder. How many lives have touched this place, and how many more will touch it still before time erodes it? As time does with all things, really, sooner or later. I mean, nothing lasts forever, but we can damn well try. Hmm. I feel like that's the way to go forward, but this might lead us to some bonus lore, maybe? I'm kind of wondering how many secrets I may have missed. I hope that if uh, there are like a lot of little uh, little secrets that uh, hello that uh, the uh, game at the end tells us so that I can have an idea of uh, what you know what what little stories we may not have seen. Oh my. There is, uh, I'm also starting to rethink that statement that, uh, oh, hello. You a switch, or, or no? Hmm. Kind of feel bad for these, the miners who worked here. Must have sucked to be them. Alright, so I assume we gotta go that way. Which means we gotta go this way first. But I sort of want to go down, back to where we were, because there was this area over here. I want to get an idea of if there's anything we might be missing. Just to get that little, little thought. Or, oh yeah, there we go. See? We wouldn't have seen all these people dying if we didn't come down here. As uh, the roof collapsed on- okay, I, get, I, get, I got it. I got it, fellas. I wonder, does doing that help? By scanning this and learning that they were in fact here, does that help us in any way uh, release them, maybe? Release their tortured souls from the this dark place for which they gave their lives so that a couple of mining bosses could make big money? Stupid capitalism. Always cutting down the little man. When will the worker finally seize the means of production or whatever? Something, 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 communism. Seriously, though. Uh, it's amazing the lines of inquiry and thought. What's this? Does it matter that all of this is in my memory? I mean... Sure it matters. I mean, does it make it any less real? Um, I think I missed you, missed where you were uh, going with that one. I was there. I was the first. Wait, what? What? You're the first person to find this place? Have you been, like, reincarnated time and time again? And every time you get reincarnated, you 
return to continue exploring this place. Yeah, let's, uh, let's scan them again. Make sure that they are uh, forever immortalized. I'll be honest with you, I would never have done that. I'm again wondering how the heck we got down here in the first place. Considering the fact that uh, this is very treacherous. Oh, hello there, miner dude. Hello. You're looking very striking there. Very, very, uh, very lovely. That's probably a sign saying, caution, look out for falling rocks. Or something. Let's get a nice good scan in here. Or is this a museum we're in? Because these almost look like plaques, and these could be like little statues. Wait, is this... Is this all just a game? I wonder. Then again, if this was a museum, that's a terrible lack of security right there. Absolutely dreadful. Hmm. What is the dark truth of this place? Well, I guess we'll, we'll stop it here and we'll find out the dark truth possibly next time. But for now, that's going to do it for this episode. So until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. And I will see all you in the next video.